Okay, so I have uh, connected the Prodi gate. We need to find out the IP, which IP is the default IP. I already know what IP that is, but in order to show you, um, you can go to command prompt, type in ipconfig slash all, and look for the ethernet, which is, this right here, Ethernet adapter, this one, and this is the default gateway, which is 1.99. So we're going to type that in here, 192.168.1.99. Click on advanced, click next. Um, I think the password is, user is admin, there's no password, okay. Now we're going to enter a password. Old password is a blank. New password, just enter a secure password. Perfect, log in with your new password. There we go. Register with 40 care, we will do that later. Right now we're only going to set up the interfaces. Just to quickly show you how the 40 gate is connected. Um, in a port number one, I've connected the laptop. There is no connection onto the van, meaning this 40 gate has no internet right now. Okay, so to keep things uh, consistent with the rest of the configuration, what we're going to do is set up this LAN interface. And we are going to give it an IP. We're going to remove the 192, which is a class A subnet, and give it a class C IP. So 255.255.0. Make sure you don't want this. The range is going to be 1 to 10, actually 50, um, 10, 0, 1, 0, 2 to 52. The reason why I'm starting with 50 is to reserve the, uh, the below IPs for printers and things like that. As soon as I do this, I'm going to lose the connectivity. And I will have to reset. So no problem. Let's do that. Okay. Let's take a look at the IPs now. And I can see right here, the gateway is 2.1 and the IP address assigned is 2.50, perfect. So I can open up a new window, go to HTTPS 10 0.2.1. There we go. I can close the other window. Uh, I'm just gonna log in here. So I'm going to name this device. T 
Let's change the time to Eastern time zone. You direct to HTTPS, that's good. And profile based, everything else is good. Click apply. Also, we have a static IP for a van interface, which I'm going to set up uh, later on because I want to have the internet on this, which is this right here. Currently, it is set up on DHCP. So we have not connected anything to the RAN. As soon as I connect something to the RAN, it's going to issue the IP. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this and uh, assign a static IP um, once all the 40 guard stuff is turned on. So let me just double check everything. I want to make sure if I go to policy. And let's see what we got here. Okay, we will name it LAN2 LAN outbound. Okay, currently you see this because uh, the interface is down, which is the van interface. Nothing is uh, attached to that. Anyway, I'm going to double click on this. Okay, go inside and I'm going to change few things here. Outgoing traffic needs to be netted. That's good. We're going to keep it flow based. Uh, you don't want to do it the proxy base because the proxy base is going to utilize louder bandwidth and uh, it's going to inspect each and every traffic, which uh, puts a lot of pressure on the device itself. So here we're going to turn on antivirus. We're going to turn web filter, DNS. We're not going to do application control. That does break a lot of stuff. And we'll do the IPS. We'll keep this at all default. This default, default, default. We want to log all the sessions and we want to enable the policy. We're going to click OK. So that is the firewall policy setup. Uh, in bigger companies, uh, we usually don't allow service all. We have granular rules for each policy, but in this case, we're going to do allow just to have the internet outbound. Another thing we want to check is the DNS. 40 guard DNS is perfect, so we're not going to change that. Now, if I come here to the log settings, memory logging is fine. We do have to do cloud logging settings, so I need to connect this to the internet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this device with a RAN line to another switch. If you see RAN is uh, turned green, which means I just connected it, it is going to issue an IP here soon. That is going to be an internal IP. The reason being is that it's connected to my switch, but it will have the internet outbound soon. So meanwhile, I want to just go here, take a look. Okay, we already have an account, so let's log in. If you don't have an account, you can create one by uh, clicking here. But in our case, we already have an account because we like to keep all the 40 gates under the same account. So by coming to the 40 guard, you can enter your username, username and password. 
and it should once you log in it will give you your license information okay i'm going to change the schedule update to daily instead of every i want uh update server to be only us and then i'm going to hit apply okay already done that so i'm just showing you the settings what's been done okay another thing is um firewall policy make sure you name this policy whatever you want i like to say LAN to van outbound and uh, currently it's uh, sourcing all destination all service all um usually you don't want to do that because of the the nature of the business so you want to have a granular firewall policy but in this case we're testing so this is fine apply all the security profile you can we got antivirus web dns ips and ssl those are applied all you do is just double click on that go down and turn on turn on all of this i want to uh, log all the sessions as well instead of just security events i want to log all uh, everything okay so that's good now I'm going to go to the log settings. If you go to log settings right here, memory logging is fine. I just, I turned on the cloud settings, uh, the cloud logging settings. Here it will ask you to enter your username and password, which once you enter that, it will uh, start collecting the logs into the 48 cloud. You have a choice to do real time every minute or every five minutes. I prefer real time. Click on real time. Event logs should be all, Traf uh, local traffic log should be all, uh, resolve host name, yes, and uh, resolve unknown application, yes, which is green, and click apply. As you can see, the logs are already uh, being ingested to the 48 cloud, okay? Another thing uh, we would wanna do is update the firmware. In, uh, in our case, we just updated to 6.4.14, okay? Uh, it is a good idea to update as soon as you have the proper mature version of the update. 4.14 is a mature version. We have the ability to go to 7.0.12 as well as 7.2.5. Uh, these 12 and .5, anything above 5, does represent a mature um, um, firmware for the 40 gate. This one, I would probably not want to do that yet because it's only at 4.0. Once they come out to 4.5, I could probably update that. Another thing I wanted to show you is uh, this client has a static IP address. So usually DHCP is uh, connected here, where as soon as you uh, connect your Ethernet wire, it provides the IP address, the gateway, and the subnet. But in our case, we have a static IP. So I'm going to click manual, enter whatever the static IP you have uh, been provided by your ISP, uh, enable that, and click OK. And then one more thing you will need is you'll need to set up a static route. Uh, you can do create new. Destination would be all the IPs, which is 000 slash subnet, which is 0000. Gateway is where you're going to put your ISP gateway, whatever they provide you. Uh, whatever the IP it is, I'm just randomly typing this IP, no idea. And um, the interface needs to be the outside interface because um, uh, this is fine because currently this box has no internet, okay? So outside interface, and then you're going to click OK. As soon as you connect that device to your ISP modem, it should have the connectivity outbound. And uh, yeah, and this is how you set up the 40 gate uh, interface, DNS. You set up static route, firewall policy, and lock settings. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them into the uh, chat section. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you are notified for all new videos. Until then, you guys have a nice day.